the most valuable player in the Stanley Cup playoffs is Brian Leach. The first American-born player to ever win the Conn Smythe Trophy. And we are now joined by Brian Leach and Jeff Bukaboom. What was the significance of that moment for you? Well, it was a little bit, uh, it was funny because we had the get together last night. Everybody came in and uh, I was talking to Barry Watkins about it because Barry's like, you remember, like you were giving me a hard time because I didn't want to go. I wanted the whole team to go up as a group. Oh, okay. And Barry's like, no, you, you got to. And I'm like, no, I want the whole team. And then he goes, go talk to Mess. So I went over <laughs> and talked to Mark. I go, Mark. What, to ask for permission? No, I said, hey, I want the whole team to come up, you know, and, and get the word. He goes, no, this is what's been going on for you. Go get up there, and then you can come back. And so I said, okay. And so <laughs> I so turned funny. around. It's like you saw that photo. Like I went up, I picked it up, took the picture, put it down, and touch it again. Because that's the kind of team we had, and that's you know, Ricky was so good. Adam, like every person on that team, was a deserving part of that. But when you look back on it, the first American to win it, certainly very proud of it. And there's other guys that have done it now, and it's kind of the evolution of USA hockey and. We're uh, becoming better and better from every age group on. So it, that part, looking back, is really nice. Any downside to being his partner? Uh, not really. It's <laughs> pretty easy. So. I pass in the puck and I stand back and watch him go. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty simple. Had to play a lot of minutes. <laughs> yeah, something. <laughs> but the good thing is I'd be on the other blue line a lot too. Sometimes. <laughs> Dinner last night. What was your favorite story or memory? Something oh. that came back to you. There's so many stories. Every. It's funny. You go around and you 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 find a story about that guy you sit down or the wife or whatever you start telling stories and and it's like I have a favorite one uh, I was telling Eddie Ochuk this one and uh, so Eddie as everyone knows he was in and out of line a little bit so he goes uh, me and him almost got in a fight in practice we're slashing each other really so this is like in uh, October and he goes uh, farmer he always called me farmer he goes, so a month goes by he comes up and he goes farmer I go yeah he goes remember that Time we got almost got in scrubs. I haven't been out of the lineup since. <laughs> so I said, <laughs> but there's every every time you meet up with one guy, there's always a story that you start talking about and you start reminiscing about, and you go, remember when? Remember this? And and then it's so great because we were talking about it earlier. It's how he tells the story, the same story, and how he remembers it, or whoever it is in the mm -hmm. team, and then how you remember it when you tell it, and and how it just uh, resonates differently with everyone. We checked into the hotel and they had. A little lounge area for us, and so we got there was yeah. six of us there. Buka Boom, I mean uh, Huddy, yeah. uh, Noons, yeah. you, uh, Kosher, yeah, the and game, the game yeah. MSG's rolling the games, and it's on the TV there. And a lot of us has never seen the actual footage. We see highlights, yeah. you know? right, yeah. so we're watching it, and each memory was different. Like yeah. Books was different of each oh, shift. Yeah. Mine was different. We're all sitting there like, really? That's the way you yeah. remember it? And it's Kevin like, Lowe thought he was out of the game. Yeah, and, and we kept telling him, you're, you're still like, there. Well, you're so on. Funny. You're still there. And he goes, well, I must be out right before <laughs> overtime. That is and, so, uh, so then, real that yeah. you guys are doing that. And right? then when, when Mateau scores, I knew it was coming up because I fired, was the guy that fired a puck and then over the net just before. And I go, OK, guys, watch. Fedosov's going to turn it over and Mateau's going to score. And I go, really? And it happens. Because, that, you know, that's what I remember. That's what he remembers doing. And he, Brian goes, you should have got a sister. I said, nah, that's okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know, I was watching those games, too, and in the Devils series, and you have to do things like this to win the Conn Smythe Trophy. That Spinorama goal, would you consider that to be the greatest goal you scored? <laughs> no, I mean, every, it's got to be top five. Every goal, I was surprised that when it went in. But that one, I at least thought about beforehand. I remember watching the playoffs and years past, and I had seen Doug Gilmore do a move like that and the, I go wow that's a pretty smart thing to do you know you're getting pinched off stop turn and try and get the goalie moving and but when it went in I looked and the puck was in the net behind and Scott Stevens is right in my face you know and he was so angry and I'm like oh my gosh the puck went in I was so shocked that it went in so it was uh, you know it was definitely memorable of course I blew it by not clearing the puck with seven seconds left. So yes, that did happen. But we did make seven point seven. We actually. did make Matt Toast's career. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank Enjoy you. the night.